Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and let's talk about the photo filter adjustment in this tutorial. The photo filter adjustment lets you apply specific filters or colors to an image and that results in some cool looking uh, filters on top of your image. So it kind of reminds me of like using Instagram filters but um, you have a lot more options and uh, a little bit more control over what you're doing. So you can make some really cool looking stuff in Photoshop here. You can use it to, if you just want to do something simple like make a cool Facebook profile picture to use or maybe a buckysroom.org profile picture to use, hint hint. And um, you can even use it for more, more uh, professional stuff as well because it's a really nice adjustment. So let's load up an image and then let's go to image adjustments and then photo filter which is in the middle of the second uh, second group here and not a lot of stuff to go over in it but it has uh, it's pretty powerful so you can either use a certain color or a filter and there's a whole bunch of different filters that you can use we've got uh, a warming filter and if I take the preview off you can see how it changes mainly in the sky for this one we got our cooling filter which you can see definite, a definite change and then we've got a whole bunch of other filters including just like some basic colors here now if you want to just use a different color click on the color button here click on the color here and then you can pick whatever you want and you can go through and just preview different colors that you think might look cool now we've got our density down here which is basically the same as intensity so if I jack that up, image is going to become more green. If I jack it down, it's going to become less. So if I go to my filter and then add my cooling filter on there, if I keep on adding this, it'll become like more blue. And maybe it feels like it's more cold outside in this image, like it might be more of a wintry time. Now we've got the pre preserve luminosity button down here. I'll put this to 25 and what preserve luminosity does is it adds the uh, color or the filter without jacking up like the brightness at all so if I turn that off you can see what's going on here so if I increase the density it's gonna you can see how it just adds like all the blue and everything but if I check preserve luminosity it's gonna keep like the uh, brightness and all and all that stuff how the image looks so it's a it's good to pretty much always have the preserved luminosity on and I haven't really ran into an instance where I wanted to take preserved luminosity off on this so that's uh, all we got going on here um, it's pretty cool use it to add a filter to your image so then there's the sought after sepia filter there anyways everybody thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, have a good one See you guys later.